Welcome back. Our next guest is two-time Olympic gold medalist from Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, Eliza Manon. Ah, <laughs> uh, Eliza Manon. Oh, she's beautiful. Uh, well, I'm sure she'll be along just, just soon enough. What do you mean she's not here? She was here at the start of the episode. Oh, who else have we got? Oh, please, no. Ladies and gentlemen, your secret special guest, Santa Claus! Oh, thank you, thank you, Johnny Boy, Johnny, oh, John, oh, milk and cookies, my favourite. Oh, Johnny Boy, how good it is to see you. Oh, I do not like you. I'm sorry. <coughs> Look, whatever, man, let's just get this over with. What happens to the other 364 days in the life of Santa Claus? Well, just like the rest of you, Johnny Boy, I, I go to work six days a week, and then in my downtime, I like to relax. You know, I cook some steaks, watch the big game, and uh, I learn how to play the bass. <laughs> oh, fascinating. Mm. What's in the game plan for this year's Christmas? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Johnny. This, this year uh, magical uh, sleigh that you drive around the world in one night, yeah, how exactly is that possible? Well, the reindeer have magical properties. Impossible. Well, what, what? Can we get that, the butt wow sound? Oh, that's unnecessary. Uh, where were you the night of October 8th? The night there were three on-site reported incidents at the North Pole factory. Oh, legally I'm not allowed to talk about that, John. Uh, am I sensing a bit of tension here? Mm, oh, I don't know, Santa. Are you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I think I am, John. Yeah. And why would that be, Saint Nicholas? I have no clue. I don't, I don't mm. know. Mm. Mm. Then let me remind you. I didn't always hate you. I remember being happy. Just me. Mum. And Dad. Things were good. We were fine. Everything changed when I was eight. <laughs> you took him and he loved me. You took him away from me, Santa. John, John, my boy, I'm so sorry. Why, Santa? Why did you take him from me? John, I didn't take your father. What? You've got it all wrong, John. There was a time of happiness. This is true. <laughs> but these happy times faded fast. Your parents' relationship got more stressful with every passing day. <laughs> Until one day, he couldn't take it. And he left. This whole time, I, th I thought you stole him. Why? It's hard to say, John. Sometimes when you experience trauma at such a young age, the young mind, it tends to protect itself. Maybe you blamed yourself for your father leaving, and when you couldn't cope with that, 
you blame someone else. Perhaps you misremembered another time I came to your home. Wait. Why would you come to my house outside of Christmas hours? <laughs> well, John. Your mother didn't take your father leaving very well. Understandably. She turned to someone reliable, someone kind. Someone they all turn to. <laughs> what? Mm. Uh, <clears throat> thanks, Santa. <laughs>